Luzu TV presented by Hikari, coming to you from San Francisco. We're here at the California Academy of Sciences with our host, Charles Delbe. Charles, how are you, sir? Frank, pleasure to meet you. I appreciate you inviting us in. Give us an idea of what this has to do with the Steinhardt Aquarium. Well, the Steinhardt Aquarium is within the California Academy of Sciences. So the California Academy of Sciences uh, manages the Steinhardt Aquarium. We also have the uh, OSHA Rainforest, the Morrison Planetarium, and the Kimball Natural History Museum. So they're all separate little titles, but it's all California Academy of Sciences. Well, this place is huge. Give us an idea of how many people work here, how many gallons. The place covers acres, doesn't it? It certainly does. It's uh, actually, this, interesting enough, it's the same footprint as the original building. So this building was built over about four years and we opened in 2008, but it's on the exact same footprint as the original California Academy of Sciences in Golden Gate Park. And we have about 650 full-time and part-time employees, and I'd say our total gallonage is on the area of about 650,000 gallons, which includes obviously the big reef tank, uh, this uh, Philippine Coral Lagoon with uh, sharks and rays. We have a California coast exhibit of about uh, 60,000 gallons or so, and then we have a 100,000 gallon Amazon rainforest exhibit, penguins, uh, alligator swamp, and then about another 175 smaller exhibits. So what we like doing with Blue Zoo TV presented by Hikari is going behind the scenes. You mind taking us behind the scenes? Absolutely, Frank, be my pleasure. Let's, yeah, go. let's go. Okay. Tunzi has been the world leader in high-tech aquarium ecology for over 50 years. Tunzi products promote natural water conditions and movement in the closed environment of an aquarium. Find filter systems, circulation pumps, wave generators, and much more at Tunzi.com. Cordon's Amquil Plus detoxifies your aquarium of fish killers like ammonia and nitrates. Amquil Plus detoxifies harmful chloramines, toxic pheromones, and chlorine, and has been a trusted solution for aquarists for more than 30 years. Cordon's superior water conditioning products help make fish keeping easy. Visit Cordon.com and check out the entire line of products and ask for Cordon products at your favorite store. Cordon, trusted solution since 1961. We're back with Charles Delbeck in one of my favorite places, the coral room. Charles, tell us a little bit what's going on with this water vat here. Well, what we have right here is a tub of very unusual corals because these corals in this particular holding tank all were collected in the Philippine Islands um, by uh, Academy staff over the last three years and as recently as last May. And what makes it unique is that normally you cannot get corals out of the Philippines, but we have uh, special permits, uh, export permits from the Philippine government as well as CITES permits that allow us to do that. And our goal right here is to, to get these into uh, propagation and then share them amongst other uh, public aquariums across the country. So you're allowed uh, license basically, once you bring them in, you're allowed to share them with other public aquariums. Yeah, that's correct, that's correct. And uh, so we try to go out and cherry pick you know, the colorful ones that we can find and originally it was more trial and error to see what would work. and. We found out that working with a local exporter really helped because they had the facilities to pack everything for us. Um, but again, they didn't have experience in doing corals because it's not something they would normally do. So we had to help them with that. So some of the corals, like on this side right over here, these are some specimens that we collected two years ago. So these pieces here started off not, not much bigger than that when we first got them. So let's put those back in. So we, uh, we tagged these and we track them so we know which corals are which. We know exactly where they came from, what reef they were collected on. And it's part of an ongoing effort. Uh, we wanted to start working with the Philippine nationals to train them how to propagate corals. When you look at some of these corals, do you have a certain size in mind before you take these and import them into your big tank? Um, not necessarily. We like to make sure that they're stable, that they're growing before we move them over. Again, if you, the larger the coral is, the less the more difficulty it has in adapting to a new environment. So it's better to, uh, to start off with a smaller piece, just like you would in a home aquarium. How often do you bring coral back from the Philippines? It's once a year. So we've been doing it for the last four years. As I said, in the beginning, it was just a couple of pieces trial. And then the last, uh, I'd say, two years, we brought back a lot of pieces. I think this last trip, we brought back over 100 small fragments. Are, th are they happy with the progress that's been made by you guys and maybe also getting to the point where you're going to be helping them? Absolutely. Uh, they've, they've actually had some of the representatives from the 
local, the National Fisheries Organization come over here and work with us and see what we're doing, learning how to take care of corals and also uh, some other scientific uh, work they were doing with our research side. So you're going to be able to show us some of these corals on display in your big uh, 212,000 gallon tank. Yeah, we have a few in there, but it's going to be hard to pick them out because uh, they blend in so well. There's so many corals in there, it's hard to know which ones are which. Uh, there's a few pieces. We don't have a lot of the Philippine stuff in there right now. Uh, most of it is the corals, as I mentioned, we've got donated by local hobbyists and also um, other public aquariums. So you don't mind showing us the big tank? No, absolutely not. Frustrated with your cloudy aquarium? Want a simple, easy-to-use solution for clear, clean, healthy, odor-free water? You need EcoBioBlock. EcoBioBlock's unique, beneficial bacteria live and multiply in volcanic rock for up to two years, reducing the need for maintenance and water changes. EcoBioBlock in every aquarium for clear water, healthy fish. Give us a call or go online to ecobioblock.com. Everyone knows marine fish hate pellets, right? Not when they're fed Hikari Marine S or Marine A, the world's first sponge-like marine pellets. Chock full of natural ingredients your marine fish need and love, these rapidly softening sinking pellets provide them a taste and texture your fish will instinctually adore. Ingredients like fatty acids, DHA, and EPA round out a nutritional package that's hard to beat. If you want your fish looking like they just came off of the reef, feed them Hikari Marine S or Marine A. Join us on our next episode of Blue Zoo TV presented by Hikari, where Charles continues our tour of the Steinart Aquarium inside the California Academy of Sciences. Blue Zoo TV presented by Hikari. Don't forget, you can follow us on Twitter at Blue Zoo Radio. We can hook up and meet at places like this, Alcatraz in San Francisco. That's Twitter at Blue Zoo Radio. To learn more about the show or to email us, go to bluezootv.com.